Justice here and welcome to a new RuneScape video. This one is based around the new Gobi's um, Mazcap quest, Call of the Ancestors. But most of all, it's just to point out the importance of Mazcap rep reputation and how important it is to get your daily gatherings of reputation in order to unlock the reroll option of 5,000 rep from the Gobi's in uh, Kanata uh, village on the east side or the, uh, let me think, yeah, the east side of Mazcap. This quest is not going to contain too many spoilers, but it does show uh, some of the main parts of the quest line. So if you don't want spoilers and you just want to get to the points about the liberation reputation, then you can skip um, towards the end of this video. I reckon at about 2 minutes 30 seconds, I'll probably start talking about Mass Cab Rep, so skip to there if you don't want spoilers. So yeah, as a whole, I think it's a pretty cool quest line. You take the form of three little gobies. Tunks, Pex, and Lunch, as you can see here, the three which I'm going towards now. They are pretty cool characters. You start to sort of warm up to them a little bit in the short time that you have with them, and they all have different attributes that will benefit you throughout the quest line. There are certain patterns and puzzles that you have to get through within the quest, and you have to use each character similar to the way how similar to the Dungeoneer and Sagas, if you've done those before, where you have to take the part and take control of certain characters within the quest line. It's very similar to that. You take control of the gobies in order to complete puzzles. The larger goby is the is the one which is the strongest, and that, that one you use to push different objects and to stand on the pressure pads. The little one here, you, you actually play as the little one most of the time and you use the little one to go through and you know use different agilities to go through different obstacle courses. And then the other one is uh, the jumper and you use the other one to jump across obstacles as well. So it's a really cool attribute but one of the, th one of the parts of the quest which I enjoyed the most was the end fight which is this fight here and I really hope they do develop more RTS style fights like this so real time strategy fights it was so fun to do like you're just spamming the ground to create that detonation impact and that will cast the uh, special abilities from the three gobies that you played as throughout the quest line previous to this boss fight and as you can see I'm just spamming the ground loads and uh, it's hitting like 5 4k's I wish you could use these things in raids that would be pretty awesome and you even get a chance to take out one of Durzag's minions with the three gobies as well with their special powers that they've absorbed via the quest line uh, because the whole point of completing those puzzles is for the gobies to absorb the magical powers within. It's also really interesting speaking to the ancient gobi here that is being kept alive by the construction around it supporting its own weight because if you didn't know gobies the way they die is the rock on their back keeps growing and growing and growing until he can't take the weight anymore and it squashes them but there you go guys the quest has been completed i'm just going to briefly discuss now reputation and the importance of rep guys you can collect up to 90 rep per day from completing tasks from trunks here in the kanata on the east side of Mazcab, and he, you can do up to three tasks per day and you unlock 90 reputation. It's the only way you can get rep other than burial charms right now in the game. As you can see, I've got 2,500 out of 5,000 rep. There are multiple tasks that you do, such as killing Eretz, releasing gobies, killing traitors in the Nemi Forest, which is probably one of the hardest ones because the Nemi Forest is constantly changing. You can also get rep by collecting different uh, fossils, different creatures around Mazcab, and then taking those to Otot, I think his name is, in the northwestern side of Mazcab, the archaeologist. And the reason why uh, this really sparked my memory and why I really want to remind you guys is because a quest reward from completing the Call of the Ancestors are three reroll tokens. And these reroll tokens can be used when you're looting Durzag or Yakimaru, and you can have a chance of rerolling your loot for a chance of receiving an Acto drop. Now, when you have 5,000 reputation, you can reroll once per reset, so that's one raid fight out of the two. Uh, and that's why it's so important to get this 5,000 rep unlockable, which is the final unlockable you can get with a uh, Mazka reputation. So make sure you're doing your daily tasks, guys. This is just a nice little reminder. I'm going to start really grinding those tasks out now on a daily basis to get that 90 rep per day. I really want that reroll option to get those Acto drops. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.